someone's going to have to go onto their bio on the Instagram and change it literally themselves. <laughs> Now he's already acting like he's a champion. He thinks he's this. And it's like, oh, mate, that all changes February uh, 17th. And, uh, you know, he's going to have to literally eat a big, humble fight. David Adesanya here, your uncrowned 145-pound champion with the reigning undisputed UFC featherweight champion who has been the reigning champion for 1,504 days and still counting the eighth longest UFC title reign in history. My pound for pound number one, Alexander the Great Volkanovsky. How are you, champ? I'm good, mate. What an intro. Getting better with those, mate. Hey, it's all I mean, facts, you missed you know? one. You miss you might have missed one. Just uh the crown, the actual crown oh! 45 champion. <laughs> 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 oh, mate, how you been mate. my man i've been good i've been good oh, damn you're throwing shots already at the start Jesus. <laughs> after all that all the love you just gave me too far oh, yeah. sorry mate all right how are you doing today champ i'm doing good mate doing good training hard getting stuck into it yeah uh i had a nice hard session this morning so i just did like a lactic session but um yeah we, we got into it you we always uh, always hit really good numbers uh, I'm always uh, going to have them games in my head and, uh, you know, no numbers I did, so I need to hit them numbers. So it's always going to be a push for me. But then there's a little competition in the room, you know. Well, what was, happened? Uh, what know? happened? Oh, we just had like Frank uh, Hickman and that like uh, call out, oh, yeah, let's do it. And I was like, oh, man. Like, so I'll, it was funny because I I wasn't worried about losing. So I, I get nervous, not because of losing, because I know what I'm going to do to myself. Because I know I'm going to win, but I know what I have to do to win anyway. So I'm just like, even though I'm always putting it hard, but I mean, to go that extra bit like I did, oh, mate, we felt it. But we broke some records today, so that's good. It's been three months since you came in to save the UFC 294 card in Abu Dhabi, where you rematched Islam Makachev, pretty much coming off the couch just after rehab, 11 days notice. Unfortunately, the fight did not go your way. How do you feel about it now that some time has passed? Oh man, it's all good. You, you play on, move on. Yeah, obviously it's gonna, it's always gonna hurt. Uh, losing's uh, not fun, you know. What I mean, that's a. Uh, I'm not. I'm never get. I'm never scared of getting hurt or anything. Like that. you're scared of losing. Um, even though I love challenging myself, even if it's eleven days notice and put myself in a position where the chances of losing are much higher, I'm still gonna do that. That's just that's just who I am. Uh, even with that fear of losing, uh, but that's just just who I am. That's what's made me the guy I am. Uh, the champion I am, you know, always challenging myself. I challenge myself in the gym every day. Um, and I'm always finding ways to challenge myself. And that was one of them, even though, uh, like you said, you know, it wasn't like I was uh, do, doing much training, nowhere near uh, as much as I should have uh, with the timing. It was just the timing of everything. So I was a little disappointed of, of the time because usually I'm in very good nick, but um, just uh, the timing was uh, different. I will always do short notice. So a lot of people go, are you upset with the decision I made? To do a short notice, I'm not. It's not the decision. It's just the timing of it. But any, any, other, any loss... other time in my career, any other time yeah. in my career, I'm not saying I win. I just, I just know I'm in a better position. That's all. I, all I can say. Like you know, what I mean, he caught me, and that's that. But um, yeah, I just, you know, wish I could pull the trigger and uh, make it more of a fight, and I just didn't. I mean, we all saw what you did in the first fight and what you're capable of with a full camp and all the preparation behind you. Did it make processing the loss a little bit easier, knowing that, you know, the situation was what it was, 11 days, everything else behind it? Um, yeah, obviously that, that is going to make it a little bit easier, I guess. Uh, but, I mean, you still got all the like other things, uh, you know what I mean? Like, So it was like a little kick up the ass for me. Like I said, I wasn't disciplined. Um, the, I'm, I'm known for being disciplined, professional, all year round, uh, 24-7. And I just wasn't that time. So I was uh, really disappointed. And I was I was more upset with uh, who I was than, than previous uh, months leading into that. Um, and to be honest, it made it a little bit easier because it snapped me out of it. You know what I mean? It snapped me out. Like I was drinking every every day um, for like three, four weeks. Like, honestly, like, I don't even know if I've got that. Like, that's that's unheard of for me. Like, every day, like, I've, I've never, ever done that. Um, but I was just like, oh, yeah, you know, I wasn't training too much. Obviously, surgery and 
just trying to help out in the house. I'm like, oh, I may as well have a couple of drinks, you know, they're going down good. And, uh, you know what I mean? And, yeah, so it was uh, it was going down too, too good. So it was like every day went to uh, Cairns with the fam and come back. And that's even then I was like, man, this this has got to this has got to stop. Like I I ended up saying that honestly the day before I got the call. So I was eighty three kilograms that day, um, because uh, when I went to Chris Jeffrey, uh, my strength and conditioning coach, he, he he did some tests and made me stand on the scale, and I was like eighty three. And you know all the boys that were in the gym with me were just laughing like far out. Right. I've never been that heavy. Even when I was trying to bulk for Islam the first fight, I never got that heavy. Uh, and then uh, I was like far out. So I was like, all right, I'm going to try and eat good. So I sort of, it was like I had a day, a head start, a day head start to snap out of it. Um, and then I got the phone call the next day uh, for the, the for the fight. I'm like, what? I'm like, I better check my weight. I already lost a, already lost a few kilos. So obviously a lot of it was just water, um, which was crazy. So I'm like, let's do it. You know what I mean? Like uh, I need to snap out of this little uh you know rat that and that i'm in you know what i mean and this uh, this is exciting you know this is a challenge this is something that i i need right now let's do it so i was just a little bit more disappointed at that timing i mean losing's always going to suck um but i mean you're losing to a, a fighter like islam is okay i know i can beat him i've proved that but um you know he called me credit to him you know i'm not taking nothing away from him like it was you know he set up that kick uh you know there's not much i can say that but i was just disappointed with the guy I was uh, leading into that. Yeah, interesting you say that. And it's uh, good that you were self-aware during that phase that you were having. Were other people noticing as well that things were a bit different? Like, you know, oh yeah, Volker's drinking a little bit more than, you know, we've seen him normally do. Yeah, yeah well, uh, I was I was just drinking at the at the house, really. So, like, don't get me wrong, I wasn't, like, getting blind drunk and I'm not, like, this aggressive, abusive uh uh, father, they say, you know, it's not like that. I'm just, uh, <laughs> you know, I'm probably sending the, the the wrong picture here. But um, no, I wasn't meaning I mean, that. Like, I just thought that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what I mean, like, uh, obviously, a little joke around the house. Like, even Emma's, uh, like, oh, again, is like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm like, I just have yeah, it's all right. So I'm not training. I'm not fighting till, um, you know, I wasn't fighting till next year. Like at the time, I was like, you know, I was already. So I was like far out, you know, uh, and just everything, not 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 having a, a goal uh, to set in front, surgery, just little things like that, being being uneasy, and obviously trying to be the best dad I could be as well. Um, you know, just a uh, just a uh, little little pressures that a lot that everyone goes through, and a little uneasy, and the drinking was helping, and I just wasn't happy where, where I was, and I was again, like you said, self aware. I'm I'm someone who's very self aware, and I'm always good like that. That's why I obviously had mixed emotions when people see me like that. Because I don't want them to think that I have these, you know, massive problems. But I don't. I am very self-aware. I, I do a lot of the right things. It's just was that time. But I'm glad people did see it because everyone gets vulnerable. Everyone gets vulnerable. Everybody has their their, uh, their moments. Everybody gets like that that here and there. And it's um and I'm okay with that. And I'm okay that people see me uh, like that and see me obviously break uh, break down whatever. You know, I, I'm all good with that because again, it, it is a serious thing. Um, the awareness. You know, it was nothing but positive things for it, but like obviously I'm all good. I'm okay with people seeing me like that because, uh, you know, some people will be like, oh man, I didn't expect someone like Volk to have their feelings uh, here and there too. You know what I mean? So that's a great does. part about it. And one thing I will say, 100%. you know, on behalf of um, men, especially young men, you know, across the world, thank you for speaking up. And, you know, them seeing someone as tough as yourself, you know, a bloke being able to be vulnerable on the world mm -hmm. stage after everything it really you know it helps reduce the stigma and raise awareness exactly. about the mental health and i don't know it's probably similar in, in uh, australia the suicide rate of young men is, yes. is way too high so um mm -hmm. commend you for that 100 percent. one thing i'll yeah, say sure. about the last thing about the 294 i mean you've played rugby for years you've hardly ever lost in competition you've taken some big knocks you know your body and you know only you know how you you felt after two nine four. What's the recovery been like after the head kick? Yeah, yeah, like all good. Like so, I'm I'm lucky enough to have a great team behind me that uh, they've dealt with lots of concussions through through rugby league and that. And rugby league, they actually usually, you know, they want to play the next week. You know what I mean? Like because they they're playing every week, right? So like, um, the amount of time that I had, like we obviously were being very like we try to follow UFC protocols their protocols, every protocols we wanted to take into consideration. And um, 
and mate, they did a great job. Like, and from what they're used to, we had more than enough time. You know what I mean? Like, we were, obviously January we could have done, uh, could, but I mean, it would have been me rushing into camp, which we didn't want to do. So I wanted to follow all the protocols to it all properly because I did have a like concussion, which uh, messes with the head. By the way, <laughs> I've never had the concussion before, so I'm lucky enough to be playing football. Yes, I've been playing rugby league for for however long I was and fighting how long I've never been concussed. And um, and yeah, so it uh, it it does it messes it messes with your head for that that week and week and a bit. Like I was like, wow, I was like, it was, it was very hard. Oh man, like it was just uh, yeah, obviously emotional as you've seen on, on the post fight press conference. Um, you get agitated easier, uncomfortable, and like you know, weird anxieties. You know what I mean? Just like you just uh, and a, a bit of emotional wreck. You just can't deal with things how I usually well. I usually deal with things very well. Um, but again, obviously that, that timing before the fight and, and then especially with the concussion, very, very hard for my head to deal with, deal with things. So, uh, and I want to get that out there because uh, a lot of fighters and a lot of people, footy players are going to get concussions. Um, and this might happen to them when they're going to start, you know, it's going to obviously losing is big and then being concussed while losing that can make things feel even so much worse. So uh, like, I feel like, uh, you know, that's something that I wanted to get out there just so that people people know that, you know, look, there's a good chance. I was lucky enough to get my team. Uh, they even told uh, Emma, say, look, he might he might be a little bit uh, different around the house. He might be easy, agi- easily agitated. Um, he might come up with, like, you know, weird, like, r- rash decisions. And, like, you know, he's just not going to be um, as Himself. clear-headed as, as he is. Yeah, yeah. Like, so, so like, again... I'm not that uh, abusive uh, type of guy, if that's what, <laughs> what it's about. But I'm, I'm going to be a little uh, annoyed, a little easier. Um, yeah, I'm not going to be that calm, real composed guy that I usually am. And and I, I felt that. I really did. And then uh, each, and then obviously the next week, I was much better. The week after, I was like, oh, far out. <laughs> I was like uh, miles different. You know, it was crazy. So I just wanted to touch on that just so people uh, have that awareness if they ever have a slight concussion. Um, but yeah, like I said, followed all the protocols. Um, January, I probably could have made the that fight, but I mean, it would have been me rushing into camp. We wanted to follow all the protocols, ease in the training, uh, ease in the camp, and then and then go. So that extra month uh, was perfect for us. And uh, mate, like, I know a lot of people like uh, are going to be like, "Oh, easy rushing and that." Like, trust me, that's not the case at all. So I'm uh, I'm back. Uh, I'm that you know that same me in the gym, breaking records as I told you today. Um, the spider session, sparring. Um, getting boxing sparring in, like getting in there, getting uh, making sure I'm getting the contact and that, um, you know what I mean. And and we find no, obviously no symptoms, no second guessing myself. Uh, you know what I mean. Obviously, I think that's a big part. A lot of people are like always going to get worried about getting caught and whatnot. That's just not me. I'm always I'm always aware of that. You know, I'm, yeah. I'm all, I've always been a calculated fighter. So uh, for me, I'm I literally. Yeah, I don't see it. Like, and I know a lot of people say it, but from I feel ex- exactly the same. It's like it didn't even happen. I'm just, I'm just focusing on what's what's happening now. Like, you know what I mean? So, um, I feel great. You know, I mean, each week's yeah. getting better and better. Glad to hear it. Uh, and that's awesome sharpened. that you've got a, yeah. a wonderful support system. You know, around you. Yeah, for Sharp sure. Yeah, no, that, and... that definitely made uh, made made things uh, much better. And even given uh, myself and the people around me a better understanding of it all and. I followed it all to a T, eased back into training, you know, followed all the protocols and um, it was unreal. And then like, yeah, now I'm probably, you know, I'm probably going to go into this fight at 35 years old, probably the fittest I've ever been. Like, you know, honestly, that's what this camp's already looking like. We've still got a few more weeks left. So it's, um, yeah, it's, it's looking real good. Nice. And let's get into talking about UFC 298. This card is stacked. Uh, it's going to make for you know, an interesting press conference, you know, you'll have a uh, Leah yapping away as well. Uh, you're not one to play into the, into the drama. And I feel like most of your past opponents have been pretty respectful. Is this the most bad blood that you've had going into a fight? Not, not even bad blood. Cause it feels like it's more one way he's yapping yeah. away. And then you're just like calmly yourself and telling him yeah. how you're going to put him in his place. So it's like, you can't really call it bad blood, but like, yeah, it's one just, way yeah, animosity. Like, well, it's good because he's doing everything right. That's I, I want this man. Like, and the hype's there already. He's doing this. He's undefeated. He's talking. You know what I mean? And uh, people, 
people are, 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 are lapping it up. And then for me, I get to play this. You know, I'm an experienced champion. I'm just going to play, you know, just going to humble the, the dude. You know what I mean? So it's like me, I'm like, okay, time will tell. You know what I mean? Like press con- next press conference, a couple of days, you know, your words are going to be much different. You know, you're, someone's going to have to go onto their, their bio on their Instagram and <laughs> change it literally themselves. <laughs> so what a humbling experience that's going to be. And I'm going to uh... make sure, I'm going to make sure, I'm gonna, I don't want the manager, I don't want their trainers or their, or his wife or anything doing it. I want him personally to change that uh, to 14 and 1 and contend or whatever he's going to change the champion to. You know what I mean? So like, he needs to do that because one thing that I, I, for me, and this is how I've always been and how a lot of people are, you earn your spot. Earn not giving up. You know, that's been a, something, a quote I've, I've loved using. Obviously, it's a quote that's been around for a long time and I've loved using it. I'm all about that quote and uh, that's just been who I am. I earn my fitness. I earn, earn my heart. Like, you know, not, I earn, earn everything. not given. There it is right there. See, that's that's the shirt right there. Appreciate you. But, um, but yeah, exactly right. And, uh, you know, I'm not saying he doesn't like earn this shot or anything, but again, let's, let's be real. Look at the, look at the way that I had to get to the title. A lot of people had to get to the title, things like that. Look, I'm glad he's in this position. I wouldn't want anyone in front of me uh, other than him right now. So I'm fine with that. But now he's already acting like he's a champion. He thinks he's this, he's, you know what I mean? He literally thinks he's like some superstar already. And it's like, oh, mate, that all changes February uh, 17th, February 18th. Um, and he's going to have a, a rude shock. And, uh, you know, he's going to have to literally eat a big, humble pie. And I get to do that. So, like, a, it's a perfect perfect for my storyline right now. Because right now, uh, everyone's looking at me like, I was from the last loss, coming off that. And people are trying to do, you know, people are looking into my age being 35 and all this. So, they're looking into that a lot which is good. So uh, that plays a storyline or this young, hungry, undefeated prospect knocking people out, blah, 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 like perfect. And then I get to just obviously do what I've always loved doing is a silence of doubters. I love proving people wrong. I've, I've been doing it my whole life. Get to do that again. Like I was in a position where I didn't need to do that anymore. But now it feels like I'm so, – look, obviously people that know, know. But, I mean, then you've got a lot of people that are seeing that lot and people quickly forget. And I love that. That's what's exciting about this sport. I I'm loving all this. Yeah, I'm loving all this energy that you're giving off. Yeah, hundred. I do, man. That's uh, and I get that from this. So I don't need a trash talk. Like, I'm loving. But, I'm but, loving the fact that he's talking like that. But during fight week, and you know, especially at the press conference, can we expect a little bit of like a sp- spicy folk? Oh yeah, you're gonna look, man. I'm always gonna bite back. You know what I mean? I'm I'm gonna be composed. I don't get. Even look, man. Even if I do get like angry and pumped up, like I am so good. Like I've noticed now that even me firing myself up like that, um, I'm such a, a composed sort of person and fighter that it only adds to my to my performance. It's actually even better for me. So uh, I'm okay with that. So even if I get like emotional and that, it's something that I've noticed that I, I swear I fight better with it. Mm. <laughs> so because I'm so composed and calculated, it just gives me an extra edge. So if it gets there, perfect. I'm going to try and use a lot of his stuff to fire me up. So I probably will bite back um, because it's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting and people want to see it. And I might want that just purely, again, I'm, I'm calculated. So I'll do that literally just for, for me more. You know what I mean? Like Because uh, I know that's going to spice things up for me. That's going to fire me up. That's going to put me on a whole other level. That's going to get me excited. That's going to get me sharper. That's going to get me more on. You know what I mean? Like a... Uh, there's been a couple of fights where I felt like it wasn't there. And then I, I you, I'm like, oh man, I need to amp things up. Perfect example is Max, the third fight. I was going through everything like, oh yeah. Like, so I'm like, oh man, I've got to fire myself up. It's like, I'm not even fighting this weekend. So then we did the press conference. He started going, I'm like, maybe I'll use this press conference. People booing me, whatever. I'm going to use that as fuel. And I was like, I went into that press conference, going to like try and get whatever energy I can wake me up. And then he started obviously chirping i was like thank you i needed this man like you know and then i was like afterwards i'm like still composed but letting him know like yeah we'll see you know what i mean so i was biting back and then like it just it fired me up and it got me excited it got me to a point where it's like that's it i'm gonna get you i'm gonna win every exchange you ain't you ain't getting nothing i'm coming for you so that's where we're at 
And um, it was, you know, obviously, look, look what I did that that day. So that's where I, what I feel like uh, I could do when when things do spice up. So if it gets there, I'll play into it for sure. Yeah, I mean, it sounds like a great build up already. Has he said anything that's gotten under your skin yet? Even when he called you short, even though you're only in an inch apart. <laughs> I don't even think we're an inch apart. Uh, nah, man. Look, I don't, what has he said? Um, I, I look at that. So when I, I mentioned the, him changing his bio, mm. I think it's on. Is, is it on Instagram? He did that. Instagram, yeah. I yeah. just know I've just been told. But um, like that, I wouldn't say that it fires me up, but it sits there. Does it I fuel like it because, your trading sessions? Like when you're deep it, in the spider, does, when you're. I sit there. I sit there, and I'm like. Because, again, I, I want this to be a humbling experience, not only for him, for a lot of people. There's a lot of people trying to tell me how to live my life. I shouldn't be coming in back too soon. And they're probably only doing it because they care. But that's, you know, it's like, don't look, I've been, uh, I've been uh, you know, running my life and it's been going well. You see me on 11 days notice something happening and you're going to try and tell me how to live my life. Um, you know, so I need to remind people. So there's a, you know, so I, you know and I need to humble this guy. So I see that. And it excites me that I know he has to change that. Mm. So, like, uh, that's one thing that sticks to my mind is like, going, imagine when this bloke has to go and change that. Like, imagine when he's going to have to go change that. Like, how embarrassing. I'm like, that's right. You better do that yourself. Don't you dare let someone else do that for you. You are going to go and you're going to type that shit yourself. Uh, so, I'm uh, looking forward <laughs> to that. Because, and that excites are, me. Are, you, know, are like, you going to make sure he does it backstage? Just stand over I'm him after the fight? I'm going to go here, bro. Like, oh, man, look, I'm going to say, mate, honestly, because... Look, he's probably a, a not a bad kid. He's probably just playing the game. Um, you know what I mean? And, and he's still young. So this is going to be a, a lesson. You know, I, I feel like uh, I'm going to go out there, teach him a lesson. It's going to be a humbling experience. His time's not now. When I'm done, maybe. This is going to Maybe his story starts after I, I whoop his ass February 17th. All right? So, like, a, I can, like, you know, go there and be like, look, no hard feelings. You needed this. Bounce back. Earn that shit earn that you know if you're going to talk your shit earn it like i mean you ain't in a position where you earn that yeah. type of hype yeah. you know what i mean who have you like you know who have you fought compared to what and you're gonna act like you're better than me yeah nah we ain't having that so like uh you and know then what pull I mean? so your gonna, phone out pull out your instagram delete I'm, I'm that shit you to do, and i'm doing and i'm hey and i'm gonna this is this is this is tough love this is uh, this <laughs> oh, is uh, this is out of respect and tough love this is you know i'm not doing this to be a prick and to put shit on you this I'm is doing daddy this Hulk, make father you of three yeah, exactly. Father, father of four. Soon to be father of four. <laughs> so I'm going to go out there and I'm going to, exactly, I'm going to be like, mate, I'm doing this for you. You're going to bounce back. When I'm, when my days in the UFC is uh, done, all right, maybe this is it, but it starts here. Start changing the way you, you know what I mean? Start earning that shit. You know what I mean? You ain't no movie star. You ain't no superstar yet. You got to earn that shit. So, uh, that, that, you're you know fired I mean? up, Let's Paul. go. You're yeah, fired up. Right, right, I can feel it. I can, I'm sweating. <laughs> I don't know, I man. Like, I'm just like, I, I earn my respect. I earn my, you know, I earn my belt. I earn absolutely everything I achieve in life. You know what I mean? And uh, I'm not saying he hasn't. I don't know how he is in the training room. I don't know. Obviously, he's a, he's a good fighter. He's obviously, you know, it, that, that, that's no worries. Yeah, what are some of the things that you think he does well? Oh, like he's very well-based, very powerful. He knows, he knows how to... He always has his legs under him. You know what I mean? He's always in a, a nice base position. Um, so that's why he fires, fires hard. But I mean, there's things that you can capitalize when people are, you know what I mean? When people are well-trained in certain ways, I've been using things like that against people for for how long? I do believe there's levels. That's one thing that I hear him say is like, there's levels, levels above me. And I'm like, man, you ain't showing it. Like, maybe he hasn't needed to. Maybe I'm going to bring out something I haven't seen out of him. Maybe we'll see it. There's definitely uh, things that I know I can exploit and I will exploit. And uh, again, when we talk about levels, don't come at me with you are levels ahead. <laughs> like it's just, yeah. uh, you know, you're, you're literally just lying to yourself. You yeah. know, you don't believe it. You might say you can beat me. Uh, let's be real. You've got to punch his chance and that's it. You know what I mean? Like uh, be real with it. You know what I mean? Just try and look for that shot. Or if you think you can submit me, just try and look at that. Act like your levels ahead. Don't tell yourself that because I'm going to fucking mess with your head two minutes into that fight because you're going to realize, oh shit, this ain't going the way I want it. Look, I, I hear I am talking myself up, but at least I've earned that. I've shown that against some of the best fighters in the world multiple times. You know what I mean? Like, and I've showed all these levels. This was your ninth that UFC title fight. 
Exactly right. And there's so many, uh, yeah. So you've you've seen that knocking, you know, and don't come at me and we've we've stuff like that. Just a couple more before we uh, sign out here. I know you never look past any opponent. Knock on wood, another successful title defense. Your division is will sort of be in a, a funny place. Um, you finally, two things. One, you finally have Holloway off your back. He's going to go fight Justin Gaethje for the BMF title. What are your thoughts on that fight? Oh man, like yeah, it's an exciting one. It's a fun one. Uh, looking forward to that. It'll be it'll be interesting to see. Obviously, Gaethje, he Obviously, we know his style, right? Like he is gonna f- try and find that chin and find it hard, and he puts everything. You know what I mean? Like he's still calculated, but he lets him go. I know Max can get hit, but I mean he's still calculated enough where you still need to have good enough strategy to land on him. You know, just looping shots, empty looping shots, ain't gonna ain't gonna just land on someone like Max. Uh, but Justin Gaethje is more calculated. Though. He doesn't just throw just bombs. He he's still a bit calculated. So it'll be interesting to see um, how well they, uh, they go in in them exchanges. Like uh, I think because uh, Max's chin is just legendary. Uh, trust me, I've been trying to bloody crack that thing for for how long now? It is um, like uh, you know. But I mean, if any like you think if anyone can do it, is it someone like Gaethje, a heavier division, and someone that you know is going to put one hundred and ten percent into to shots that are there. You know Max is going to be there the whole time and he's shown in some of his fights that he's uh, mixing it up a lot more, using a lot more tools. So yeah, it's going to be interesting. I'm really looking forward to it. If I had to lean towards someone, uh, probably Gaethje. Um, but I mean, there's definitely, I do not think it's going to be a wild wash. I think uh, Max is definitely in for a big, a big, big chance here. Nice. And the second thing is, uh, you can't really start lapping your division because the guys that you've beat uh, either aren't being active or haven't been winning. Uh, could a person like Mosva Ivalev get a title shot? Well, man, he's undefeated. Another undefeated uh, guy. Um, yeah, it is a tricky one for me, man. Like, uh, like obviously, I'm like, I want to be so active. Um, or but, do we see you doing super fights at 55? I mean, like, you know, I, I still love the 55 by 55 uh, idea. Obviously, I want exciting fights. I want things, uh, and I want to be active, man. Like, uh, let's be real. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm 35 years old. Yeah, I feel great. Like, I still feel like I'm uh, 30 years old. But how long is that going to last? So, just because I feel like that now doesn't mean I'm going to feel like that next year. So, I want to capitalize. I want to get in there. I know I'm good now. Let's get them rolling. You know, that's just how I'm looking at it right now. And um, and I obviously want to make as much money as I can right now. And um. And obviously, I want fights that are going to excite me and get me out of bed and, and uh, you know, keep me uh, locked in. Even though I'm disciplined, I'm going to do that. But I, I want to be excited. I, I want to. I want to have fun in there. I want to. You know, I want to have new problems to solve and things like that. So, and there's a lot of them in there, lightweight as well. So uh, there's a lot of exciting fights and uh, and obviously big names, big matchups that you could do in uh, lightweight. So definitely want uh, lightweight fights just to uh, keep keep me busy while I'm uh, waiting for that clear guy. Cause uh, I don't know. You, it's, you know, you got to not, it's not just selling me on uh, your next contender. You've got to sell it to the UFC, fans and to, yeah. to Dana, you know what I mean? And to the matchmakers. Do they want uh, Mosvar right now? I don't know. You know, for me, I'll fight it. Whoever, whatever name they put there. All right, I'll do it. Like, you know what I mean? But um, I'll, you know, if they were to say right now, give me this, or there was a, you know, a, a nice big name in the lightweight. I'm going to go for this exciting fight in lightweight right yeah. now. Yeah. Until there's a clear guy. If there's a clear guy, all right, boom. So if something big happens in the next few months, which, uh, you know, I don't know, I can't see that happening. Um, all right, sweet. Let's do it. You know what I mean? Like uh, bounce straight back in into the featherweight division. If not, let's do lightweight. Nice. Or welterweight. Oh, whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> 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 Welterweight, middleweight, light heavyweight, heavyweight. I mean, uh, the weight's good right now. The weight's kind of coming coming right off. So, like, uh, I mean, I've got, I would have thought, like, uh, my weight, how it has been the last, uh, obviously, from the last fight and stuff. I was like, yeah, welterweight, yeah, no dramas. But now uh, I'm actually, yeah, the, the diet's going really good. Um, I'm more, I'm ahead of schedule with uh, with my weight at the moment. So, um, no, I was happy to see. I know how it is. The weight, the weight always comes off with ease for me. Mate, yeah, mate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. All right. Thank you so much for today. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it. I know you're deep into camp. No I know, you know, body's feeling it. You probably have a nap scheduled. Any shout outs, any announcements, anything that you want to plug? 
Uh, uh, no, no real shout outs. Just obviously appreciate everyone's support. Um, uh, I know I, I know I talk about one thing I do want to say because I'm always talking about you know the doubters and whatnot. Um, because again, I like to use that as fuel, it's something that I've just always done and it works for me. Uh, but I want everybody to know that I know there's so many people backing me and they've got my back and always have had my back. I understand that you're probably hearing me say that. Like, hey, well, we don't think that, like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm not talking to you guys, I know you've got my back and I appreciate every single one of you. Uh, and everyone else, obviously, well, you're already on here. If you haven't got uh, subscribed to Freestyle Bender, do that, and then you can maybe go on to mine as well. Uh, Alex Volkanovsky, you'll see that. Maybe like, subscribe, cook them with Volk, check it all out. We've got plenty link more, in the description, uh, link coming. in the description below. Oh, good man, good man. There you go. So, um, yeah, there it is. I appreciate you all, and uh, thank you, mate. Thank you so much, champ. Hey guys, what's up? Izzy here. Like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoy this video.